Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, in this problem here, we're going to need to solve the right triangle ABC for all its unknown parts. Right? So we have some stuff given to us. What? This alpha, which is right here, is 20 degrees. This A here, which is 12.3. And also what else? This angle here is 90 degrees. So this is a very, very defined, unique triangle. Can we find the other elements? That is the idea of this problem. And like I said, this triangle is defined, is clear. We have three, three important uh, information about the, the, this. Can we find the other three? Okay, so uh, let's start with this angle B, right? This angle B, or uh, how they call it here, beta, right? So we have a very important theorem in geometry. It says the measure of the interior angle of a triangle is 180. The measure of angle A is alpha, which is 20 degrees. The measure of angle B is beta, we need to find out. And the measure of angle C is this guy, which I mentioned before, is 90 degrees. So, if you notice, we have an equation in this beta. So, we have 110 right, plus beta equals 180. So, basically, now beta will be 180 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. Okay, so we do have now uh, all the angles, right? We need to move to the sides. Okay, so now let's let's put these angles here. And this is 70 and this is uh, the one given 20. You have choices now. You have choices and this is 12.3, right? So, in fact, let me redraw the triangle. 20, 70, 12.3. This is a right angle. So you can use any of these angles, the 20 or the 70, and use the trigonometric function. I'm going to use the 20 since this one was given, right? And I'm going to try to find, let's start with this B. Okay, so what trigonometric function I can use? Uh, angle opposite adjacent. So that will be tangent, right? Tangent of 20 degree equal 12.3 over B. So if we do the math here, we end up with B times tangent, right? Cross multiply, if you want to say like that, 12.3. So B will be 12.3 over tangent of 20, which is a very good answer if that is asked for. If you need an approximation, grab a calculator and be sure you are in uh, the degree mode and you should get 33.79. I round it to the nearest hundred. Okay, so this is B. And we have one more thing to find this C, right? And again, I'm going to use this angle of 20, and again, we have opposite and the uh, hypotenuse that should tell us that we need to use sine. Sine of 20 equal opposite 12.3 over hypotenuse C. Okay, so again, if you cross multiply, C sine of 20 equals 12.3 and divide by sine of 20 on both sides and up with C equals 12.3 over sine sine of 20. Again you need to grab a calculator And we end up with 35 point. Again, I'm going to round to the nearest hundred, 96. And now we have all three other pieces of this uh, triangle. We have three angles that we were able to uh, 
find them, I mean, two were given, and the three sides. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square. Thank you.